Hi everybody, how you all doing? Today I want to clarify something about Anona flowers and what makes them female or male. They are the same exact flower but in different stages and I didn't clarify that in my last pollination video. So I wanted to make sure I do this today. For example, this is a female. It starts to open up it is ready to be pollinated, but not all the way open. Let me show you a male flower. This one is a male flower. It opened up all the way. So you can see the male part of the flower. And uh, that's where you have to collect your pollen and so you can pollinate other females. The females today on the tree can be pollinated today, by tomorrow or so, they will become males. And it's already too late if you didn't pollinate or if, if an insect didn't pollinate it. But it's the same exact flower, it's just different stages. First, they are female, ready to be pollinated and then afterwards they becoming males and that's when you can collect your pollen from them you can use a soft brush you can use a cup and some desiccant if you want to keep keep the pollen for more than just that day pollination you want to put it in the refrigerator with, with some desiccant and you can keep it for a couple of days I think up to a week or so, but you definitely have to use desiccant because what I heard, otherwise it can mold, the pollen can mold easy. So that's what I wanted to clarify. Like I said, this is the male, this is the male flower, and this one is a female flower. Tomorrow, by tomorrow, this female flower become, will become a male flower. Some days, if you only have females and you don't have a male, and you didn't save any pollen, then you're not going to be able to pollinate. So it's nice if you have a chance to save some pollen from males, from the um, day before males, just in case. If it happened that you have all the same flower, all the same stage, then you can uh, you can still pollinate if you have extra pollen um, kept. It did happen to me before that I was ready to go and uh, morning, let's go and pollinate, let's get some nice sugar apples uh, sets, and I didn't have the pollen so it, it, it is good to keep in mind that uh, it's always nice to have a backup plan and uh, the pollination process is uh, pretty easy in this case I'm gonna use normally I use a cup but I can't hold the cup and the phone at the same time so I'm gonna just just you get the pollen around the cone that's what i want that's where the pollen will be get the pollen and now i can pollinate the female flower for example this one it's not all the way open and i break a petal and uh, normally i break just half but this one it broke down all the way and now i will try to get the pollen on the stigmas on the female parts and now if the pollination is successful we can expect a sugar apple you see that's where I did the pollination. You can see half of the uh, flower petal missing. 
so i pollinated that one and then the sugar apple already holding uh, this is in a older stage but i pollinated all these and now there's a sugar apple because of it thanks so much for watching push a like if you like the video and if you like to see more subscribe and i will see you guys later give you updates of how these sugar apples are now this year <laughs> they are still tiny but they're growing have a good day bye